Before I get started, I gotta tell you, I recently lost 75 pounds, so. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> yeah, I've been like this for a while, though, guys. But I work on it, though. You know, I got a trainer. I got the meals coming in from HelloFresh. I already lost $700. <laughs> Pretty good. As I was looking through some of my old things, and I found a bucket list I had written in my 20s. Yeah. First item on there, it said, become a millionaire by 30. Well, I'm only a million 17,000 short. <laughs> also, I'm 38, so. Probably just gonna cross that one off. You know. And then on there, it said, do a woman twice your age. And I was like, I'm 38. That might be illegal, I don't know. Cross that off, no. And it said, uh, own your own home. I was like, ah, oh, good one, young woman. Cross that off, no. But at the bottom there, it said, learn how to speak fluent Japanese. And I was like, Watashi wa chika on this, You guys know what that means, right? Just cross it off. Just cross it off. It's not going to happen, guys. Yeah. Well, before I was in comedy, I used to be in sales. And I used to sell the easiest thing to sell on the entire planet. You guys have any idea what that might be? I'll just tell you. It was handguns at a pawn shop in Texas. <laughs> and I was the top salesman again, because I have a beard. So I'll walk you through the sales procedure, okay? Gentleman walks into the pawn shop and you go, how many guns will be today, brother? And that's it. <laughs> right, I'll just give you a number. One, okay, cool. How will you be paying today, sir? Untraceable gold bullion? He's like, no, that's when he pulls out his gun. I like to buy my gun with a gun. Fantastic, it's a shot, we can do that, yeah? Just type that in, gun. Oh, look, I see you scraped off the serial numbers. Good, that'll save time. Gun. Like, all right, you want me to wrap this up in the U.S. Constitution for you? Eh, I'll wear it out. All right, that's what we did. And for that, I was paid a commission of one gun, so. <laughs> I've got a gun, yeah, it's pretty great. There's actually no money that goes into the pawn shops. It's just guns go in, guns go off. You know, that's what I mean. Well, something you might not know about me is uh, I like to collect coins from the ground. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, a lot of people feel like it's beneath them, but uh, it's always made sense for me, guys. Anyways, what I like to do Friday nights, I go to In N Out Burger, I get two double doubles. You guys can see that, right? <laughs> go in there, and I gotta purify myself before I eat the burgers. You know, I go out and wash my hands. And one week when I was doing that, I looked, and underneath the urinal, there was a wet quarter. <laughs> I almost didn't pick it up, but I was like, I can wash my hands again, you know? Anyways, uh, it turns out it was a silver quarter. So actually, that's a collector's item. You guys know about that? It's worth about eight bucks. Yeah. So let me give you a pro tip. Let you know if you have your own silver quarter, okay? Take a look at it. The year, it should be 1964 or prior. Okay, that's a good sign. If you flip it over, it's got a little D on it for the Denver Mint. And if you hold up real close to your face, it smells like piss. That's how you want to go real with that. All right, thanks a lot. I've been Alden Shaw. Really appreciate it.